Okay, today I'm going to show you how to convert a cord and chain to a wand and a wand control instead. What you need is a wand control. Now out there you'll find several different styles of wand control. Uh, it's usually better to get kind of one of each and test it and see what's going to work for you. Uh, they all don't work quite the same. Some of them will hang up on you. So you also need a wand control and then you also need a new wand, which I have here. What we need to do is slide this set of wand over like so. That's probably a little further than I needed to go, but it will, it will work. Now what we're going to do is undo the end cap here. And we'll need to do the same on the other side. See our cord right there. So that's perfect. Okay. Now on the other side, and before I get too far with this, I'm gonna kind of make this into a flush Shed some more light on it. do here is, is get rid of this cord. Chain's already gone. I don't know what happened. Chain broke. But anyway, it's a good idea to get rid of these cord and chains if possible anyway. And this is really easy on this particular style of lines that have the uh, post in the center. It's very easy to convert. So anyway, Right here, we're going to take this off and we're going to get rid of the all the gears inside here because this is going to, going to hang it up. Now we're going to get rid of this here. Show you how this is done. I usually use my flat blade screwdriver. Rotate this to where we can get in a good spot at it and pull the clip off like so. Once we pull the clip off, we're able to push the, the gear through, take out all the guts. We don't need them no more. All right, well, we need guts, but we just don't need those. Okay. So again, that's gonna allow us to get rid of this Colored deal always anyway. So we're gonna start, slide this onto the star gear there, the main center gear, like so, and we can tighten this down. This side, we're finished. Sort of. Anyway, tighten that down there. It looks like this needs to be in a little bit. You can see it kind of bent out of there. That's not too good. In fact, I might even pop this off a little bit, squeeze that down because that seems kind of like a dangerous sharp edge there. I'd rather have that covered with this piece. And of course, it's going to be just a little stubborn. It's Friday. It's got to be. Loosen this screw a little bit. Pop that back down. And with these gears, I want to put them underneath there like so. Okay. Now we're all set there, we'll tighten this down. And at least now we don't have no funky sharp edge sticking out right there. Now, right behind here, you can hardly see it, but let me see if I can show it to you better. We've got this 
clip right here, a little C-clip. That's going to keep things from moving. It's going to keep our final one from moving once, once our end cap is on the other side. But that means this piece will only be able to move to this point. So if you're changing other ends on the far end from wherever your wand's going to be, you're going to want to put one of these C-clips to keep that last gear from moving and that'll allow you to be able to draw the blinds to draw them closed. Otherwise this end is going to come with you as you draw the blinds closed. Okay, and now we're ready for the other side. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut out our cord so we don't need the cord anymore. It doesn't matter where we cut it from, but we're going to need to trace it down and get rid of all the remnants of the cord. We don't want it hanging us up anywhere. And what it usually is is tied on somewhere. So we'll have to find that last piece wherever it's tied. Which is on this one right here. See the knot there? Right there. So I'm going to be able to pull that out of there. Pull it out of that side, and there should be one on the opposite side, and there is, and it's right here. And we'll pull our cord all the way out. Uh -huh. My handles want to come with it. You can't come. Only the cord can. All right. Right here, you can see how all our pieces hang underneath the head rail all the carriers. Now we're going to slide this off and this off and this little doodad just acts as a, a little guide for everything once we're finished. And now we're ready for our wand control. Okay, this particular kind of wand control anchors right in underneath the first the first deal doesn't really need any screws. The other type of wand control, this one here, takes two screws through there. The first kind, you can put screws through there, but you don't have to because it's got these little teeth, you know, little vampire teeth. <laughs> anyway, so what we'll do is slide this forward, and we're going to bend those little teeth up and into the hole here. I like to show you these carriers, what it's got. It's this little tab that slips in between the carrier, keeps it from moving around. On this one, you can see how that's an option where you could slide that little carrier piece into there. And this would be another way of getting the job done because you can set this as the carrier. Okay, that's another way to do it. So either way, and this first one also has this little deal that you can lift up to unanchor it from the latch, which I just did. So we're going to want to pass the latch piece through and rotate it down. There we go. Okay. And that one's in place or back in place. Again, we're just going to anchor the teeth underneath here. I'm going to try to give you some more light and give you a better angle of what's going on here. Hopefully, you can see that a little better. Gonna anchor it into the holes. 
Not much room here, so it does make it tricky. Oh. That side. That side. Wow. And I just snapped both those off. Okay, I'm going to try with this one that I was showing you earlier. Now you can use screws with this one or you can use the the top tab. So I'm going to use that top tab. I'm going to rotate this one on. There we go. And again, we can use screws if we need to, or we can anchor this one on. So, I'm show you top down view here. And we just need to rotate this puppy right into the deal there. I'm going to push it through a little further on and then push it down and in. Try using my flat blade screwdriver to do that. There we go. And now it's in. And hopefully you can see there. See how that's going to pull it and anchor it. Okay. Now we want to make sure all of our gears feet are right under that track. And this part's on top of the track. And now we're going to be able to test it out. I'm going to push that, push that through. Got our little guide piece that's going to follow behind right here. Just kind of helps keep it from binding up. We've got our wand, and our wand you just put in at the correct angle. It's nice and easy. And this is not liking me too much. So I may need to go with the other style of master gear. It's Friday. Okay. So now we're going to slide this little clip piece on, and this just keeps it from going too far to the edge. You can just push it on, actually. And now we're ready for our end cap, which is right here. Gonna need to loosen that second screw a little bit. I'm also gonna squeeze this down just a little bit. I should tell you, be careful here, these are really sharp edges. Okay, there we go. And now we can tighten our screws down and this will help hold everything together. You can see how it kind of clamps, clamps around the outer edge. Now we're ready to test out our ball. See how we're doing. This one's a little tough to work. It seems to kind of bind up. So yeah, that's just way too too tough to work. So I'm gonna need to change that out with the other kind. Fortunately, I brought two of them with me with these uh, teeth there. So I'm gonna go with that. Okay, round two of what is more of a flashlight video now since we're sick of it dark here. Taking a second swing and defeating this vertical blind here. The master gear I put on there didn't work very good. 
was hanging up. So, let's take another swing. There we go. This one going to take out the doodad here. There we go. Slide this off. Slide that off. Recover our wand. We'll be using that again. And now we've got the kind with the teeth. That'll anchor under our deal here. So here goes that. Insert these under the deal. There we go. Okay, and insert it on, and we're in. Okay, now we've got our little guide here. Helps keep everything level. And then we should have a little clip or a little stuff. It's like a little buffer. That goes on like so. And there we go. And now our end bracket. Just going to squeeze these down so that's nice and tight. And you can see one, the first gear, first carrier, it needs to go under there. So there we go. There's that. Okay. Sometimes when you get stuck on something, just taking a little break and then coming back at it is what it takes. And like even boxers, the bell rings, you get a little break, you come back in and defeat the champ. All right. Here we go. Taking the title. Okay. There's our blinds. Got a few of them hanging up down at the end. Gonna go check it out and see what's going on there. Let's take a look here. Everything seems okay there. Looks like maybe this one here, out of step. There we go. I might just replace that slot altogether. Anyway, now we'll try doing the slide. There we go. Just a couple slats to replace. Got one, my carrier right there. Yeah, I'm actually gonna replace this slat. That thing's jacked up. Slats with me. This should be nice and easy. And now straight these out where they're supposed to be. from the other side and I may need to kind of hold this side down when I do it. There we go. Line it up with the other side. Okay, I need to turn that back the way we want it to go. There we go. And okay, we're gonna Tilt the head rail up into that, anchor it in place, and now we're good to go. There's our blinds. 
All set. Good to go. Cord and chain. Mm -hmm.